we have seen few html tags and their usage like heading tag paragraph tags all the uh, basic tags we have already studied and we use them so far in their you know very simplest form but most of the html tags can also have attributes which are uh, you know contains additional information about the html elements and uh, attrib attributes are always specified in the starting tag it means that an attribute is used to define the characteristics of an html element and basically is placed or you can say specified inside the elements of the starting tag or you can say the opening of tag okay so uh, let's uh, take the paragraph tag okay That's, so this is the opening tag and this one is the closing tag so if we if we want to define any uh, html elements uh, attribute you have to put that attribute in the opening tag okay so we will discuss it later on uh, okay so next is all attributes are made up of two parts okay first one is name and the second one is value so first you put the name of the attribute and then you put the value of that attribute the name is the property you want to set and the value is what and the value is what you want the value of the property to be set okay so next is uh, different different attributes of are there so the first one is id attribute the id attribute of an html tag can be used to uniquely identify any element with an html page okay so basically uh, it uniquely identify any element within the html page okay next attribute is src attribute so it spe specifies the url web address for an image okay so uh, uh, first I just want to um, give you a brief idea about uh, the all the attributes and then we will run all the attributes one by one okay so basically it's give just a web address for a uh, particular image and uh, the file name of image source specified in the SRS attribute okay the next one is alternate uh, attribute so uh, this attribute basically if uh, image is not displayed somehow if uh, image is not di dis uh, displaced then in that case text to be used okay so it specifies an alternative text for an image when the image cannot be displayed the value of the attribute can be read by user easily okay so the next attribute is href attribute it specifies the url address for a link it provides a basically a link uh, you just click on it this link and you can easily go to that website or anything the, those that address web address is given in your uh, in this attribute okay and one more thing uh, you have to remember is this link basically this uh, href attribute is uh, uh, written in the in this tag in this opening tag of this a h r e f like this okay and the web address and close this tag now the next one is width and height attribute it specify the height and uh, width of table image or table cells next one is language attribute it allow to indicate the main language used in a document like, let's suppose you use the english language in the whole html document so you have to uh, specify in the html tag which language you are using the next one is title attribute this tag gives a suggested uh, title for the element the title attribute is added to the p element okay the paragraph uh, tag it displays the extra information about an element as a tool t okay so let's uh, execute all the attribute and uh, run on the screen so now start with this uh, id attribute okay so as we already uh, discussed that uh, all the attribute will uh, you know will uh, written in the opening tag of the html element so this is a P paragraph uh, tag and in this paragraph tag in the paragraph opening tag I'm going to specify this ID attribute and the ID is equal to HTML this is uh, the ID basically used to uniquely identify any element 
within the HTML page. So this is HTML and uh, I have written this text and I'm closing this so paragraph text. Now the next same I'm um, using this paragraph uh, tag and in this I'm specify this ID attribute and I'm, this is the closing tag of this paragraph. Okay, so let's try to run this. Okay, so uh, this launching Chrome. Now see what output is going to come. Okay, so this is what is HTML and this is what is CSS. So basically HTML and CSS it defines uh, these two uniquely okay so next is so next attributes are src and the alternate attribute src basically used to uh, provide the file name of image source specified in the src src attribute so this is uh, i'm already uh, give you idea about that uh, uh, this src attribute are defined with img image tag okay so this is img src is equal to uh, give the name of file name of the uh, image source so this is image book dot jpg and in this i'm also combining uh, this uh, width and height attribute the width is equal to 500 and the height of the image is 600 okay and the next one is alternate uh, attribute Basically, an alternate attribute is you. Uh, if the image is not displayed somehow, if the image is not displayed, then in that case, alternate text to, uh, should be should be uh, uh, used. Okay, so this alternate is equal to book with black cover page. Okay, so let's try to run this. Launch in Chrome. Uh, let's save it and then execute it okay now see okay so this is the image we are talking about uh, we uh, provide the name file name of this source file and uh, if the image is not available see if the image is not available then in that case book with black cover page okay so the alternative alternative text is pop up on the screen right so next is href and the style attribute let's uncomment these two attributes also okay and uh, save it so the href and the style attribute the so href is used to provide the um, link address web address okay so this is the web address www.gatelectures.com so uh, href attribute basically provide the link of this website and uh, it is enclosed in this opening tank of a tag and the next one is style attribute is specify the styling of any element like color font and everything so the style is equal to color is equal to red this is a paragraph and we enclosed in this paragraph tag only okay so let's try to execute them there's a learn launch in chrome see okay see this is a paragraph uh, the style we are using and this is a link uh, due to href uh, we provide this link this is a link this link for the website www.gatelectures.com okay next is html comment so basically comment is a piece of code which is ignored by any web browser okay so it is good practice to add comments into your html code especially in complex documents so we, uh, this tag is used to insert the comments in the html source code comments help to understand the code and increase the code readability yes content placed with okay so this is the syntax for the uh, comment okay so from the starting you have to put this examinatory and then uh, you can add anything in this area and then close with this okay and will be treated as comment and will be completely ignored by the browser 
HTML supports multi-line comments as well. Okay. So next is HTML quotations. We use different uh, 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 different different quotations in HTML. Like uh, we use uh, this tag for the short line quotations. Okay. We use uh, this tag for the abbreviations. Okay. Like uh, um, if you want uh, WHO. Okay, so WHO is the abbreviation. The full form is World Health Organization. Okay, next one is address. This tag is used for the contact informations. Contact uh, informations like uh, if you want to give any author or owner information, so you can uh, put this address tag into your HTML document. And the next one is site. Site this site tag is basically used for the work title to this and this site basically display in a italic form okay so let's uh, execute this all this tag together so if you want to comment uh, any line or you want to um, uncomment any line in notepad plus plus you have uh, uh, one shortcut key for that okay so if, if this is a comment okay this is a comment if you want to uncomment this line so just select this line and control shift k now this line is uncomment okay and again if you want to comment this line select this whole line and control k so simple okay so next is quotations so quotations like if we use the q tag so whatever we write in this text and we um, between the opening tag and the closing tag, tag of Q. So these will become under the quotations. Okay. So let's uncomment these lines. Control K and execute first tag only. Okay. Control save and now run it. Launch in Chrome. So this is so this is a quotation. Success comes to those who are too busy to looking for it. Okay, so this is the quotations, and uh, now next is abbreviations. So just un so just uncomment this line abbreviation uh, tag and Control Shift K. Now the abbreviation part is in the abbreviation. Uh, title is hypertext markup language, and this is the abbreviation HTML. Okay, so let's see. Mm. S and run it. So this is so. Uh, see HTML only abbreviation is is shown on the screen. Okay. Next is um, address. So if you want to give uh, contact information of your author or owner, you can give through the address tag. So let's uncomment this address tag to control shift k save it and run it so um, launch in chrome now see flat number sector city pin code you can and after uh, you know after every every information i put the break tag so that uh, another piece of information will come from the another line okay like flat number sector cd pin code okay so next one is site first uncomment this and then um control shift k and then save it so site is used for the title of a work and it the particular site like future future will come in a italic font okay so let's run it okay um Launch in Chrome. See, for your future by a APJ Abdul Kalam. Okay, so this is the uh, we uh, keep this for your future text in the site uh, tag. That's why the font is italic. Okay, so this is it. Uh, 